Hello, my name's Clive. I was going to do this sketch wearing my giraffe onesie, but it didn't fit. It was too long. <laughs> Instead, I've been asked to talk to you about something that is absolutely amazing. I am going to tell you all about L-O-V-E. Love. Oh, but not that sort of love. Once upon a time, many years ago, way back when, in times of old, there was this bloke, see? He lived in and around a place called Nazareth, and this bloke was a carpenter. He was a pretty good carpenter. He could build cupboards and window frames and bedsteads, and he could put a shelf up that was straight. You see, this carpenter was perfect. He never put a nail out of place. But this carpenter knew that there were people out there who were not perfect. He could see that there were people out there that hadn't quite got it right. I mean, they'd read the books and they'd learned all the laws. But you see, that wasn't enough. They hadn't understood that it was all about love. So this carpenter, he set out to show them it was all about God's love. You see, even further back in time than way back when in times of old, before time began, this carpenter, along with God and the Holy Spirit, had made the world in all its beauty. He made this amazing garden, which had, amongst other things, two trees, one of which was the tree of eternal life. One of the last things that he made was Bloke and Mrs Bloke and these blokes had been given an instruction by God not to eat from the second tree, the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Now you know that I am talking about Adam and Eve and the fact that they could eat from the tree of life but because they chose to also eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil they must surely die. You see, God cannot bear to have evil in his garden. But he loved Adam and Eve, and he loved all their children, and all their children's children, and all their children's children's children, and all their children's 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 children, and all their... Well, you get the picture. He loved them all. And that includes us. But you see, the thing is, that when Adam and Eve sinned, God had to chuck them out of the Garden of Eden in case they chose to turn it into a Garden of Evil. They had to leave the Garden and could no longer eat from the Tree of Eternal Life, so they would die. But God couldn't bear to be separated from them and their children. He missed them. He wanted us back. So he came up with a plan. God decided to send his son, the carpenter, to go down to earth and make cabinets. Well, he probably made cabinets, but also, while he was down there, the plan was that he was to rescue all of Adam and Eve's children's 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 children's... Well, there was a lot of us by now, and he wanted to rescue us all. So, because the penalty of sin was death, God's carpenter son did the dying on our behalf. Now, I haven't got long to tell you all the details, but I can tell you this. God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that through him we might again have eternal life. And just remember this. Jesus never put a nail out of place. <laughs>